What's up, young man? It's King Carlos here, bro. Back with another video. Uh, I want to speak on something, brother T.I. Young Thug interview uh, on DJ Dramas. I think that's his podcast, his radio show. I believe it's his podcast, though. Um, it was talking about music and all that kind of shit. Um, I think it's an older interview, though. I think it came out in January this year, maybe. I think it might have came out um, January this year, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. Come here. But, um, in the interview, Drama had asked, um, I don't leave people at home, man. He had asked, um, Young Thug about the industry, bro, making music and shit like that. How long he's been in the industry, the different bullshit he went through. And basically, he told him, like, he started, he started to speak on um, the, int the, the truth about the industry. He started to speak on the satanic side and how there's different doors you can go through. Um, when you go through the different doors, there's different things you got to do to stay relevant, to stay on, to stay in everybody's face and shit like that. And um, T.I. stopped him. And people were saying, is that cat? But no, nah, that, was, that was real, man. The reason T.I. stopped him, too. Come here. Uh, the reason T.I. T. stopped him, bro, you gotta realize T.I. been in the industry a long time. He knows how shit go. This is something y'all don't know. Anytime they finna get ready to kill somebody, whether it be a sacrifice for someone, whether it be just a sacrifice for the industry, a certain genre, um, a superstar, an icon, whether it be how they did Black Rob or DMX, those brothers were tortured. Trust me, when, in the, when they were in the hospital rooms, they were tortured, man. Trust me. Um, anything like that. Come here. Come on. This way towards me, anything like that, bro, they let everybody in the industry know. So everybody already knows what's gonna happen and they just gotta play dumb and act like, oh man, I'm so, trust me, they know. So he done seen a lot of motherfuckers go. He knows how they went and all that shit, man. He done went to funerals and walked up to wives morning and knows exactly why the husband died and played dumb. So T.I.'s a wicked, all these motherfuckers, man, just been in the industry a long time, long as him, wicked motherfuckers, man. He goes both ways and all that shit. Don't think that T.I., just because you don't see him in the, Dress like Thug and Lipstick. Thug, Thug might have been more out there with it when it was his initiation, but trust me, T.I. had to do the same things just behind closed doors. And it's more than just looking like that. You're going to have to do some stuff for real, man. And um, <clears throat> the reason T.I. stopped him, bro, is because T.I. I think T.I. Is, is Thug's handling. I really do. I think it might have been Birdman originally. Maybe. But I think he been, I think T.I. took to control of Thug. I'm not saying like to close mind, he just like became his handler, the mason that he's under. All these guys got some big, if you guys notice, all of them got some other, some big artists that they look up to, like Jay, like Meek with um Jay, um, Drake with James Prince. Um, it's all, they all got somebody that their main guy that brought them in, initiate them. Well, Drake is like um, under Jazz Prince then, but you guys get what I'm trying to say. The reason he stopped it, bro, is because Young Thug was going to go into detail. He might not have been talking about the West things, but he was going to talk about how, you know, niggas can get hit up. There's a lot of, they, they got thugs, they got teams that do shit. They got groups of, like, niggas that look like criminals that they sent on hits to make them look like another rapper did it when it just be them. They got FGI suits, those suits to make you like a black guy, white guy, all type of shit, man. Um, he was going to talk about how the record sales are manipulated. Um, the popularity is manipulated. They can make you hate somebody. They can put out crazy stories about people. And because certain platforms look reputable, they're not, no platform is reputable. They all make up shit and do as they go to, to appease their own agenda. But there are some that out there, the ones that are small and local, but if they're making any money with corporate, trust me, you can't. Once you get with corporate, that's like, that's like, that's them. Come on. Anytime you start getting a corporate paycheck or shit like that, or those big sponsorships, I'm talking about some serious, serious sponsorships like with Nike and shit, they're not gonna. Trust me. The reason he stopped us from doing it, bro. Like, a, more than him being this handler is because even though Thug would get paid back for that, T.I. would get paid back for that because you allowed him to talk about the secrets. You allowed him to open his mouth when you was right there. See how he changed the topic and stuff like that. T.I. is a wicked dude. He tries to play this role like he's up and. Talking all these big words and I'm about to bless me. These niggas ain't about to, they about to sell, bro. And trust me, they ain't not lying about them allegations with the women. That niggas get down here and play drug women. All type of shit, drug men, all that shit. Come on. 
That's pretty much just his vibe, bro. Just let y'all know he ain't lying. I ain't gonna get into deep, just great detail. But yeah, that's what that was, that's what happened. Those when they expose the truth by the industry, how they get down. You, and if you don't get down, you're not gonna you're not gonna get big, bro. They can make it where you just fall off. Like straight up, they can make they can make it where you just fall off. They get to make it to where you stay on forever. They can make it to where you're getting money forever. They can make it where you like have, have anything, man. Come on. They control the media. So. Yeah. Let me know, let me know what y'all think.